Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Excellency, if you allow me to invoke a standing order in the Parliament 481, where I will endorse everything that Chairman Kose has said, I will not repeat it. So we will save some time. Honorable Ambassador Candice Bond, Chairman Raymond Kose, Councillors and Aldermen, Chief Executive Officer, other members of the administration of the Miaro Rio Claro Regional Corporation, Superintendent Khan of the TTPS, and other members of the security services, members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I too have great honor and privilege in extending a warm welcome to our esteemed ambassador of the United States to Trinidad and Tobago as she makes her first visit to the mayoral constituency. The relationship ambassador between the office of the member of parliament and the United States Embassy has been a beacon of collaboration and shared endeavors over the past eight years. Today, as we reflect on the initiatives and programs that have strengthened the bond between our nations, it is a testament to the power of diplomacy and cooperation. As the parliamentary representative of the mayoral constituency, my vision since assuming office in 2015 has been clear to develop the region's landscape and enhance human capital by fostering partnership with key stakeholders. The United States Embassy has been an invaluable ally in this journey, consistently offering support and assistance in various capacities. Together, we have undertaken initiatives that have not only benefited the residents of Mayaro, but have also set a precedent for effective international collaboration. One such milestone in our partnership was the groundbreaking three-day seminar on countering violent extremism. This initiative, the first of its kind in the region, brought together a diverse group of participants, including school principals, teachers, PTA representatives, police officers, and non-governmental organizations. The program aimed to create a platform for local authorities to address issues related to violence and bullying in schools and communities. Furthermore, the collaboration with the Kanbu Play Foundation under the Trinidad and Tobago Sport Diplomacy Project exemplifies our joint commitment to the holistic development of our youth. The full day of football training provided secondary school students in the area with not just physical skills, but also instilled values of teamwork and discipline. Excellency, this program with its sport-oriented approach has served as a powerful tool to engage our young individuals in meaningful activities, stirring them away from delinquent behaviors. Our partnership has also seen the successful implementation of programs with the Delaware National Guard and several TT state organizations. The subject matter expert exchanges on search and rescue operations, disaster training for first responders, and military information support team disaster response and management resiliency have imparted invaluable knowledge to our local first responders. The tactical advice and training provided by the Delaware National Guard have enhanced the capabilities of our local police officers, Coast Guard, fire services, and disaster management personnel in this very same municipal corporation, equipping them with first world expertise to handle diverse challenges within our constituency. As Chairman Kose mentioned, during the challenging times brought about by COVID-19, the United States Embassy demonstrated an unwavering support by generously donating much needed supplies of K95 masks and sanitizers. These supplies were promptly handed over to the Eastern Regional Health Authority, ensuring the safety of frontline personnel at health facilities. This act of solidarity further exemplifies the depth of our partnership, extending beyond routine collaborations 
to address urgent and pressing needs within our community. As we welcome the ambassador to the mayoral constituency, we do so with a profound sense of gratitude for the unwavering commitment and support that the United States Embassy has consistently provided. The initiatives mentioned earlier not only showcases the tangible outcomes of our collaboration, but it also signifies the strength of the bonds we have forged over the years. Ambassador Bond, your tenure as the United States Ambassador to Trinidad and Tobago marks a pivotal period in our diplomatic relations. I express my heartfelt wishes for your success during your tenure, and I am confident that under your leadership, our collaboration will continue to thrive and reach new heights. May this visit strengthen the ties between our nations, fostering understanding, goodwill, and shared prosperity. In closing, I extend my gratitude to the United States Embassy for the enduring partnership and commitment to the well-being of the Mayaro constituency. Let us continue to work hand in hand, transcending boundaries and building a future of shared accomplishments. Thank you, and may our, our collaboration endure many, many years to come. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen.